Oh, shit. Guess what? There's some big changes coming up here to this particular channel in the very near future. Just in case you're... Oh, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <clears throat> uh, anyway. I can't actually do the purest challenge. I did not realize this because I forgot completely. I did not realize that I could not do the purest challenge until I actually beat the cathedral once. Whoa, dodge horrific. So, I will go ahead and attempt to do it as Kane, but now I'm apparently Kane. I'm now apparently Isaac with the Luckfoot. Because I got the D6 in my first item room. Holy crap. I, I That was the last thing I expected to see. There's a library, too. Mm. Alright, I'm going to use my key. I'm going to get rid of these books. So now you can see the D6 in action. Finally. After all this time, rolling it. Getting rid of these books in case I find another library. Because the more books I get rid of, the faster and the sooner. The, uh, the sooner I will get non those non library books to show up which is pretty sweet that's a shop i was hoping for a sacrifice room actually strangely enough for once i was hoping for a sacrifice room don't want you to take my key don't take my key game the only reason i was hoping for a sacrifice room was because you know there's a there's a free book of shadows in the library and i wouldn't mind using it you know what, uh, <clears throat> I'm actually going to grab the Book of Shadows real quick. Take it to go fight the boss, just in case it's something horrible. Okay, so Duke of Flies, that's not so bad. Although it could potentially be kind of annoying at times. Besides, it's not like I can recharge my D6 anyway by fighting him. The D6 is one of the most powerful sub-weapons in the game. Many would probably call it the most powerful sub-weapon in the game. I beg to differ. I think the poop is the most powerful soap weapon in the game, obviously. But the D6 is a uh, close second, I guess. Because it allows you to reroll any pedestal item for any other pedestal item that you've already unlocked. Um, it's not necessarily going to reroll into a good item, but it's going to reroll into another item. So it does increase your chances drastically of finding certain items that you may want. Which is why I like the D6 a lot. So a lot of people like the D6 a lot. I didn't even need to use that. There was no real reason to. I probably could have just let the uh, let the uh, let the D6 get another charge on it. But I just wanted to be safe rather than sorry. I don't have any bombs, so I can't look in the secret room. I do have a key, but I'm not going to spend it on my. I'm not going to not going to go in the shop because I'd rather save it for the next item room. So this is a very interesting start. And there's the item room once a Wow, right off the start. So, one of the things that a lot of people who play this game will do, that you'll probably see, and you will see me doing a lot, is that instead of just stop, instead of just re-rolling an item in the item room, uh, you have to pick up the item in order to actually make sure that it does not come back. You've seen it before a few times where, for example... Like, uh, an item that was in a devil room will show up again in a curse room, or something of that nature. But basically, if you don't pick up an item, then it has a chance of being found again. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult with the passive items, but with uh, with with reroll, with, uh, with uh, sub-weapons, it's a lot easier to just pick it up, use it, and then you can reroll it. It's, ooh. I... Mm. <sighs> I'm going to regret this. I know I'm going to regret this instantly. So, you remember those green guys that shoot those bombs? This is Ipecac. It does the same thing, except for Isaac or whoever, whichever character you're playing as. It's actually not an easy item to use. It's kind of annoying, actually. Can I get out of here? I don't really want to... I can't. Oh, I can leave this way, actually. I know I'm going to regret this decision, but I might as well take it so I never have to pick it up again. So Ipecac, obviously, as you can see, it has kind of a, a big arcing uh, shot instead of Dr. Fetus, which uh, slides along the ground. 
So in this in this essence, Ipecac's actually a bit more. It's it's quite a bit more difficult to use. I say it's a bit more difficult to use, especially when you're dealing with flies and the like. Oh, pills! Right, I'm Kane. Oh, where what? Where am I? Oh God, where am I? <laughs> Ow! No, get off me. But uh, yeah, Ipecac makes this game actually not necessarily more difficult, but potentially more frustrating. And now I have to check that curse room because my D6 recharged. If there's a possibility of finding an item in there, then uh, yeah, I could have some good stuff going on. The one ben major benefit, obviously, to... Oh, okay, that was <laughs> pointless. The major benefit for Ipecac, like Dr. Vetus, is that I can look for any and all secret and super secret rooms, which is nice. You? Nope. Okay, it must be over here. Still, it is out of the three explosive shot items, the other two, of course, being Dr. Fetus and Epic Fetus, which I have not gotten yet, but I did unlock recently. I'd say it's the most difficult to use. All right, more bombs. I'll take that. Uh, let's try here. There it is. Of course, there it is. It's the last possible place it could be. Oh, good. More soul hearts. Who am I going to fight? Who's the boss? It's Gemini. This boss sucks with Ipecac. Unless you can get kind of good with your shots. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. I'll admit that. That wasn't too bad. You have to be, oh, like, as you just saw, you have to be really careful. No, not taking range up. Range up with the Ipecac is death. Oh, I wish. I wish that either I could take either of these. Ugh. No. Roll in the range. Pageant boy. Oy. Okay. I'll take Pageant boy. <laughs> so you have to be careful with Ipecac also because if you're not moving when you shoot your shots and you're near a rock, it'll just hit the rock and blow up in your face. So you have to be careful with that. I... I really wish I hadn't taken it back. <laughs> Every time I take it, I wish I hadn't taken it. But like I said, I'm taking it this time, so I never have to take it again. Hopefully, I'm not saying it's not. It's it's a powerful item. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's so difficult to use. It can be frustrating. I might actually die uh, in this game. Unfortunately, I know I don't. I don't like dying, especially as Kane, but uh. It's a very distinct possibility with Ibikak. Ooh, what's this? Yay! Oh, that's uh, that's unnecessary. Kane already has pretty good speed. Her. I don't have a key. I don't have a key. How's that even possible? Uh, I'm gonna reroll that into Myris. Sure, I'll take that. Ooh. Oh. Oh boy. Ha! There we go. Miss that complet. You heard me. Miss that complet. There we go. That's a little better. So I'm just poor little sick Isaac with his uh Oh boy. Oh boy. The virus and Ipecac. Sheesh. Not a pleasant combo, I'm sure. Eh. Die. Die before you create spiders. Oh good, it's finally a key. Although I'm at the boss room, so I'm gonna see what all he... Ah. Will this override it? I'm gonna try it. Please override it. It overrides Ipecac. Oh my god, I'm suddenly very happy. So Mom's Knife is actually a lot more controllable for me. I can't believe I've got, I've got Ipecac and Mom's Knife in the same run. That's ridiculous. Alright, here's the boss. Mom's Knife is basically just a giant, humongous... It's amazingly powerful. It just has a, it has a relatively short range, as you can see, uh, as I'm being hit a lot. by peep. But it is very powerful. 
you can tell by the fact that Peep is being very rapidly murdered. Don't, don't pee. Don't pee. Don't pee. Pee's gross. Okay, Jesus Juice. I'm gonna actually reroll that. Meat. It's much better. Health up. Damage up. Excellent. Because even though Mom's Knife is incredibly powerful by itself, if you get a little bit of extra damage on it, it just become you just become entirely unstoppable. It can be a little hard to control sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time, just sometimes. You just ha you have to know how to use it. You have to know how it works, how it moves. Also, uh, it's the only item in the game that you can actually shoot diagonally, like on purpose. So you can do that. I don't do it very often. In fact, I pretty much never do it. I want to check that, but I don't want to lose my soul hearts. Hmm. I'll look around for a second. Oh boy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Mom's Knife, another one of those really amazing items. Of course, there are things I can't get. Uh, all right, I'm gonna look at the shop first. Using my only key. Okay, I'm taking that. Definitely taking that. Speed up. Yeah, yeah. Not necessary, but balls of steel. All right. Prince till the end, and health up. All right. Excellent. Obviously, because it's cane for excellent pills. Hmm. You know, I'm actually gonna. I'll take this too. Fool card. That's not bad. It'll save me half a soul heart from uh, here. Let's see what's in here. Spiders, you die. You die horribly. And a giant troll bomb. All right, peace out. Okay, let's see. So that uh, that actually turned out quite well. <laughs> I, I got Ma, I got a I got Ipecac off me, which is really nice. Let's see how much health is left in this uh, in the boss room. Because I definitely want to try out that. Uh, so I've got one heart in the boss room. I'm gonna hit that blood donation machine a couple of times. I could actually, if I get, if I do end up getting uh, more than two or three cents out of this, I could very well just buy the, the, uh, oh, okay, so much for that plan. Although, I can reroll this, which is awesome. Into the bean. <laughs> yeah, great. Bye bye. I'm actually, go ahead and buy this heart in here. Buy him out. And get the hell out of here. So I got like a four cent profit on that. Not bad. I really should be looking for the secret rooms too. Yep. Nope. How about there? There we go. All right, three more cents. And we are going to the next floor. Yoink. Oh, Mom's knife just makes me calm. Mostly because I get to stab things. Stab, stab, stab. I'm definitely going to use this stuff. Because I'm Kane. I got the luck foot. Give me them bombs. Wouldn't mind a couple of keys, actually. That I also wouldn't mind. Oh. What was this pill? Oh, another health up pill. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ah. Alright, I have no money. But I got another health up pill, so... No complaints there. The only other problem with Mom's Knife is that it does... I mean, it's not like a slow recharge, but it's definitely kind of slow. So you need to wait around for a few seconds. So, oops, <laughs> missed that completely. Ow. So getting, oh, getting some item to uh, decrease its recharge time, getting anything tears up would be very nice. Child's heart, I'll take that. I'm not blue baby this time, I can take the child's heart. 
Why was I Australian there for a second? I don't even know. Whoa. Did I do that, or... Is that someone else that did that? Her! Yeah. No, I didn't kill it. Wow. There we go. Give me them bombs. <sighs> ah! <laughs> I probably should have paid a little bit more attention to that. I have no keys again. Damn it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see if... The, see if the... Oh, no. It wouldn't be either of those places, would it? Since the bombs blew up there, huh? Oh, well. We're going to need a key soon. Game. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh. That just wasn't very smooth at all. All right. Who's the boss? It's the hollow... All right. As you can see, you just stabby stabby, and you winny winny. There we go. <gasps> I unlocked something cute in the caves. All right, cool. I hadn't realized I hadn't unlocked him either. Okay, I'm still looking for a damn key. It's been the biggest drawback so far is that I haven't found that many keys. I wish I had more money, because then I could uh, gamble. All right, hold on. Yep. Perfect. There's a penny. Must immediately spend it. Ugh. Keys. No. Nothing. All right, I'm going to try this again. Please don't blow up the uh, slot machine. Oh, damn it. What did I just tell you, game? All right, fine. You give me balls of steel. I didn't actually think that was going to blow it up. I thought for a second... For just a second, that maybe, just maybe, those uh, TNT barrels did not actually hit enough of a... Uh-oh. Ah! Well, I only took half a heart of damage instead of a full heart, so I guess that's not too bad. The problem for me with Mom's Knife is that I kind of become a little devil may care. I'm like, oh, I'll just kill everything. I'll just run into him. No, it's a terrible plan. That is very interesting, that boss arena. Come here. Oh, oh wow. That wasn't so smooth. I just walk right over the spikes. Oh, I'm shaking my head, but you can't see that. Because I'm a moron. <laughs> and I forget about those things. Loki's horns. Decent item. Just not really helpful at this point. Charm of the Vampire, also not great. Uh, I'll see if I can get another reroll out of this floor. Pretty sure I can't. I think I'm a little too low on rooms, basically. I'll give it a look-see, though. Yep. Ah, uh, well. Uh, let's see. I think I can get that, but I'll take this. Yoink. Ah. I, one thing I do like about the virus is that you can kind of exploit it with your invincibility. Uh, with your invincibility frames or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Well, that wasn't worth it. Not terribly, anyway. But you can exploit the invincibility that you get when you're hit to just kind of run into enemies a bit more. It's kind of nice, actually. Let's see, I have eight, six cents, not eight. All right, let's give this guy a little bit of cash. What you got? Yes, that's what I want. Yay! More money. Give me more money. All right, give me everything I want. That, okay. That wouldn't be too bad either. Holy crap, he's... Giving me everything. It's a little frightening. Another nice thing about getting the IV bag this early, on the last floor actually, is that I'll never see it again. Ooh! Mm, poop. I love me some poop on my head. Hmm. Let's see. Is the, I, don't, I don't know. I, can, I think that the secret room can only be here, right? Yeah, there it is. Huh, alright. I'll take that. Why not? Nope. 
I could still check the boss arena, but I really don't want to risk going in there at just one heart. Hmm. Okay. And I can't uh, reroll Charm of the Vampire, so I guess I'll take it. Yoink. Oh, there's a little bit of health in the boss room. So I can at least hit that uh, Blood Donation Machine twice more. Wait, was there an item rocking here? I missed it. No. Okay. Alright, I'll hit that Blood Donation Machine twice. Get a little bit of cash out of it. And then move on. Gimme. Gimme. Alright, that's fine. Saving it for later. Yeah. I could blow it up. I'll blow it up. <laughs> I could. But uh, well, why wouldn't I? I have, I have six bombs. Let's see what we get. Half a heart. Lovely. Well, wasn't very helpful. But it's okay. Got a little bit of cash. Uh, I could almost warrant going into the shop right now, but just not quite. Also, keys are still at a premium, so I don't want to use them up just yet. Uh, of course, it's Necropolis. Of course, it's masks and hearts. Of course, I get hit. <laughs> like three times. Okay, well, once, but twice, maybe. Gotta love those dead ends. Poke him from the back. <laughs> and then I get hit by the fire. Brilliant. Oh, right. Charm of the Vampire. I forgot about that part. But now fires. Because it's dangerous. All right, these guys provide no uh, no threats to me whatsoever. Thank you, Skato. And golden poop. Do have to be a little careful with Mom's knife because of its limited range. Wow, that was brilliant. Don't want to accidentally blow yourself up with one of these things. Actually, the cathedral with Mom's knife can be very dangerous, so I'm gonna try to take as much caution as I can. When I get there, yeah, no, no, don't get, don't take my money. Sheesh, greedy, greed heads. Give me a right, couple of bombs. <laughs> halo flies and more golden poop. You know, I'm taking the halo flies. I need orbitals. Give me all that cash. All right, that was that was definitely a good pickup right there. Nope. I wouldn't mind getting that heart, but I don't have any way of getting it. All right, what's over this way? The boss, presumably. Ah, oh, spike hit me. A little uncomfortable with the fact that I'm at four hearts right now. I would not mind having some more than that. Ah. Oh, jeez. Uh. Ah. Oh. oh, good. Well, I got half of that back. And peels! Alright. Still very uncomfortable with my health situation right now! And that's why I hate the enemies in the cathedral. There are... There are guys like that that are actually even more annoying, if you can believe that. So, yeah, I gotta be really careful. Ugh, alright. Oh, joy, my absolute favorite boss of all time. I can't remember if I've actually fought the Mask of I'm pretty sure I fought the Mask of Infamy once, right? So, Mask is a... It's not really the most difficult boss, but like I said, it doesn't have a health bar, which freaks me out. 
And, you know, once you kill the heart, you have to kill the mask, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Especially with a knife, because, like, there, there's, a, there's a very specific distance where you can actually hit the knife from, like, from any angle. But you can see I'm not hitting it at all for some reason, actually. Nope, still haven't hit it yet. So the knife with this is not the best pick. Whoa. Because there's like, there's a very, the, this, there we go, finally got it. It has kind of a weird hitbox, as you can tell, by the fact that I've hit it once. Shit. Well, I poisoned it. Didn't really mean to do that, because I took damage too. Ugh, no, I don't want range. Yes, stem cells are good. All right, that was, uh, that was an ugly fight. I don't know where my shop is. I'd like to find that. Really? God damn it. I thought I put up that I was busy on Steam. Hold on. God. Why the hell are people... Why? Why? <laughs> I know I can turn off these notifications, I think, right? <sighs> hey. Alright. Back to the game! I have a feeling I'm probably going to regret looking around here. Yep. Well, I might get some of that health back, because there are a lot of spiders in here. Yep. All right, good. I got that health back. Where the hell is the shop? That was not smart. Oh god. Wow, I I'm not feeling confident at all right now. I'll take that. And I'm going to take the card cuz I don't know what it is and I'm curious. Like it's a sun card. That's a moon card. Well, that's something. Ah! Get me out of here. I don't want to fight green. Oh, I'm still very uncomfortable with where I am in this. Oh, if it's an arcade. I don't even know why I'm risking this, honestly. Oh, God. Having four of these things at once. It's kind of running around it. No, it's an, arc it's an arena. Well, it was something that started with an A, just the wrong A. Here's the wrong other thing that started with an A. Uh, I should just bomb out. Whoa, whoa, that was weird. You saw that thing get stuck in the door, right? It wasn't just me. It's a little strange. Come on, get over here. Well, I got a key out of it. I guess that's not too bad. Oh, uh, boy. Okay, I think I'm good. Not good enough to beat the game at this point. What with my four hard containers, but uh, well, let's see how it goes. <sighs> Why Necropolis every time? I think I got six. Did I get no? I think I got five DLC levels, right? I think I got five. Five out of six. Kind of frustrating. I got like, I got. A, I think I got basement two, and that was the only non-DLC floor. So it was pretty much doomed from the start. I think. Just, just die, just die, you stupid heart. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Oop! Oh wow, really? That just happened, didn't it? I need health. Give me health. Yes, that's what I want. Give me that right now. No, curse you. Child's heart's done nothing for me. Eh. No, I need things. Stop taunting me with your health, man. Just give me the damn health. Thank you. What's this card? Judgment. Oh. Uh, well, I only have two cents. Hmm. Never mind. I have five cents. Hmm. I'll hold on to this for a minute. Urgh. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Oh, 
Another library, huh? Take it long enough. Yeah, these guys provide no danger. Whoa! Don't want to accidentally blow myself up. Last thing I need to do is take even more damage. Ooh. Alright, got a bomb. Gotta check this out. Dos books de Belil. Get out of here. Drop the beggar. See if you can give me something for five cents. A key. Come on, buddy, please. Damn it. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, got it. I just need to get in the secret room. Uh hmm. Try down here first. Oh, Alright. Boop. Please have money. That's not money. Although, one moment. I got an idea. So crazy, it just might work. Alright, not too bad. Yep. Yep. I hate those blue spikes. I really do. Go get my D6. Get, give, me, <laughs> give me the D6. Sorry, the D6 is not available anymore. And then I will cry. Going back. Gonna go talk to my little beggar buddy. Yep. <laughs> Alright. It's all good. Come on, dude. Pay out. Alright, he dropped a book. That's excellent, actually. Because now, I can roll three bucks at once. And they're all gone, actually. Uh, so, if I can survive this floor, I can re-roll this stuff a bunch. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of... Uh, I'm still not entirely certain if you actually have to pick up and use the item, or if you just pick up the item and it's officially out of the out of the uh, out of the roll. But I'm gonna I'm, I I never use the teleporter. Never. Just, nope. Not gonna happen. Oh, that's good. So now, hopefully, I can. Ugh, of course, there's another one. All right. With my four cents, give him what I have. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. Now, if only I had some more red hearts to fill up. Thank you, game, to fill up these empty heart containers. Ah! What? How? How? <laughs> okay, there. I was going to say, how? How have I not been hit? And then I got hit, of course. Uh, that was pretty weird, though. Oh, god damn it. All the hearts. Why all the hearts? Why? 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 Why all the hearts? Seriously, god damn it, game. So it's a shop, eh? Hmm. All right. Re-rolling. Gonna go back. Gotta go back. There's the potential for something magical. If I can get the right, if I can get the reroll that I want. Come on. Nope. Not this time. Dead Sea Scrolls. Extremely dangerous item. It will pretty much. It has the possibility of. It's a spacebar item. It's a sub weapon, but it has the potential to use pretty much any set, any, any sub weapon in the entire game. So it's a dangerous, dangerous item. Something I wow, something I would not use actually, ever. Oh my god, what is happening? I'm getting hit an awful lot. That's what's happening. Sheesh. Counterfeit penny. I'll actually take that over the other thing because it doesn't seem to be doing much for me. Yeah! Explosives! 
Explosives! Oh boy. Aha! Sometimes I can get those guys to work for me. Do stuff like blow up that stuff for me. Blow up things for me. Ow. I get hit. Lame. Number one. I don't know if this will actually affect... I'm going to try it. I may regret this decision immediately. Yeah, I regret this decision immediately. <laughs> Number one increases your fire rate to maximum, but... It, oh, maybe not. It increases your fire rate to maximum, but it decreases your range to minimum. Actually, it's not changing at all. Never mind. I don't have to panic anymore. So now uh, my... Oops. Well, that's not good. Now my charges are going to take... Charging up the... Charging up the, the um, 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 knife is going to take significantly less time than it did a lot before, which is nice. Okay, going for another reroll. Which is, I don't know, might not be my last reroll, unless I don't survive this next, these next few rooms, which is entirely possible. Eep. Okay. Alright, give me something good, game. Give me! Uh... Getting a lot of sub weapons. Not the things I'm looking for, though. Hmm. Bucket of Lars not really going to help me out much since I already have. Nah. It only gives you one half of one heart, so it's really not worth it in the end. I'm going to go ahead and spend my last two cents here. Oh, that's nice. That's not nice. Okay. I can get one more reroll out of this floor. Well, maybe I can get one more reroll out of this floor. Neep. Okay. I hate blue spikes. I really do. I hate these guys, too. Because they deal with a lot of damage. And that's annoying. Ah! Do I have a yellow knife? I just noticed... Oh, hey... Oh, that sucks that I get it now. <laughs> hmm. Wow, really? Three beggars on this floor. Well, two of them and then... Oh, that sucks. I have no money. Hmm. Oh, that's frustrating. I don't get the reroll on this floor either. So, pretty much out of luck at this point. Unless I can somehow get a... Uh, if I can get a, a tarot card that will allow me to warp out of the boss room. Shit. Then I might be okay. Whew. Oh, God. Two cents. Oh, my God. Wait. No, three cents. Aha. Counter for the penny. Coming in handy. All right. I'm going to give this beggar my three cents. See what, if anything, he will give me. I could also check out the shop. It might be greed. If it's greed, then I could get some more money. Maybe. Come on, buddy. Damn it. Cheap bastard. Alright, uh, let me see. How many places are the Super Seeker going to be? One, two, three. Three, four, five? I think it's only four or five places. I may go for that, actually. If it's another Eternal Heart in that room, then that would be quite nice. I don't think it's going to be here. Nope. I'm definitely going to look for it, because if there's another Eternal Heart, I'll pick up that Eternal Heart. You. Hey, there we go. Oh, oh, no, I have no money. Curse you. Curse your lack of money. Okie dokie. Well, I guess I'll have to take the Eternal Heart and just hope that I don't get hit too many times. Alright. Ooh. Like right there. Oh god, I almost got hit. Uh, let's see what I can get out of this. 
I'm going to waste a key to get half a heart and a bomb. Yes, I just did that. Was it worth it? No. In the end, probably not. Oh, shit, there was a penny in here all along. Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm resigned to the fact that I don't think I'm going to get anything out of that. All right, time to cheese. No. There we go. Keep on cheesing. All right, flawless victory. Ugh, I do not want that. That's not even helpful at all either. Well, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I do have the map, so I may know where to go. Unless it's Curse of Darkness or the game freezes. Like it is dope. Oh boy. Not responding. Don't do this to me. Don't do this during my Ipecac mom's knife run. <laughs> there will be more knives. Don't worry. <sighs> now we wait. While we're waiting, I would advise you to check me out on Twitter. There's a link in the info section. I occasionally have funny things to say. And for those of you living in the United States, you can check out my, well, anyone can check out my Etsy shop, but currently I'm only shipping to the United States. I have a lot of really neat looking video game Perler Sprite designs, which some of you may like. Kind of just, they're just there for, uh, for decoration, that sort of thing. Okay, well. Utero 1. Great. Hmm. I have a feeling the boss is going to be up in the top right. So I'm going to clear a path to that first. Whoa! Alright, now you just get to stand on spikes and die. Because I'm a dick. What do we have in here? Three cents. Great. Could use that on the last floor game. Oh, good. Hearts without masks. Aha! You're exposed. You'll be destroyed. Oh, I didn't kill it. There we go. That's better. Oop. Here, you just uh, walk into the pointy end of that. That works. Justice? Alright. I like it. Oop, come on. Oh god, actual masks in the womb. Or utero, sorry. Whatever. Ah! Alright, well I gained half a heart and lost a full one. My soul heart's gone, which sucks. Ah. Whew. Oh boy. Run away. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Two Gemini. That was not so smart. Let's walk right into it. Whatever. I was trying to just poke it in the face and then. Ended up running into it. Ah, oh, jeez. Wow. Brilliant. You can stop now. <laughs> like, stop it! There we go. Oy. Oh, good. Gertie Jr. And his champion Gertie Jr. too. One of the champion Gertie Juniors. Ugh. Come on. Bring it on. Whoa! Try to be a little careful here. Try not to lose too much health. I'm trying. Not succeeding terribly well, but... Stop it. Stop it, Gary D. <laughs> I'm being so careful right now. Oh. God damn it, Gertie. This is why no one likes you. Ever. Oh, please. Okay, good. The boss is up here. Gert. Yep. All right, good. Who do we have? Teratoma. Okay. 
pretty sure I fought Teratoma once before. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't remember at this point, honestly. Basically, Teratoma is like Fistula, but spawning spiders instead of flies. Or the, um... The, um... Charger thingies. Just being safe. Rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> oh, you little bastard. I was at the end. I was at the end of the fight, and that stupid spider hit me. God damn it. That's fucking frustrating. More soul hearts. Not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for some more health, but it was alright. Alright, I'm just gonna go. I'm not even gonna look for libraries or anything at this point. I just, I just need to move on. Just hope I can get through here. Hmm. I'm betting the boss is in the, on the left-hand side, but I might be wrong. Bob's rotten head. You get on out of here. I can't roll this. Sh oh! No, that actually doesn't help me at all. Because where I'm going, I can't actually go down to Sheol. Unfortunately, I wanted to go up to the cathedral, and the shovel only takes you to the next floor down, so I would only be going to Sheol. What do we have in here? God damn it, all the giant troll bombs. Why? They're just everywhere. Ugh, they're ubiquitous. You there. That wasn't so good. Well, oh, I don't have to waste a bomb for half a heart. Even though I didn't need it. Oh well. Where did I? Oh, dear sweet mercy, why? Why? I hate, hate, hate this room so much. Why? 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 Seriously, god damn it. Why? <laughs> Fucking game. Oh, that was horrendous. That was fucking horrendous. <sighs> See if I can get something better. No. I do have the one up, actually. I forgot about that. So, taking all that damage wasn't actually as horrible as I make it out to be. I don't think Mom's going to be this way. Well, I'll find out in one room. Oh, damn it, I'm wrong. You know what? I'm gonna get out of here. That might not actually... Nope, oh, there we go. Get out of here! Well, that was a giant waste of time. <laughs> I really hope I don't die before I get out of the womb. Because if I die before this... If I die while I'm still in the womb, things are gonna be bad. That means I have to go through the cathedral on one life. I'd rather have a backup plan in place. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't really work out too well, now did it? Sheesh. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. Give me... There's one item in particular I'm looking for from here. Please? That's not it, but that's very tempting. Epic Fetus is the only item that will override Mom's knife. And you, you know what? <laughs> what the hell? At least I think it... Oh, it doesn't override Mom's knife. Oh, holy shit. I thought it overrode... I thought it overrode Mom's knife. I was wrong. Now I feel like a fool for having picked it up. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, now it overrides Mom's knife. Okay, so it takes a room. <laughs> okay, that's weird. But, uh, yeah. Epic Fetus, basically, it's the uh, the doctor's remote, but on steroids. Pretty much every shot you take is going to be a giant homing missile that you control. You see those little crosshairs down? Stop diving! Sheesh! There we go. But those crosshairs that you see are actually controlled by using the directional pad, or whatever you use to, uh, to aim your tears. 
Oh dear God, why? It does have a slightly limited range, though. All right, I'm just gonna go at this point. I don't care enough to look around. I'm not gonna mess around. It's not the most powerful item in the game, but it does make the game exceedingly easy. It's basically like using Mr. Mega Bomb all the time. Every shot. Kind of. If you get the timing down, you're golden. If you can make sure you can actually see the... Uh... Whoa. Alright. <laughs> Game's taunting me with an angel room now. It's like, hey, guess what you can't have? So, we're going up. The angel... Oh, thank you, game, for Curse of Darkness. Worst possible time. <laughs> that angel room is actually just a decoy. It will just take you to, down to Sheol. And we get double Loki... Why'd you dodge, you bastard? Alright, one down. So yeah, Epic Fetus makes the game pretty easy. It's still no guarantee of victory, but it does make the game pretty freaking easy. I can't believe I got all three of those in one run. It's ridiculous. I could actually just leave... I could just leave these floors behind, really. I could just... Or rooms. I should say. Excuse me. I don't actually have to fight these. I could just go. It's like, eh, whatever. I could, I could just bomb out of all these rooms, really. But I would rather just take care of ev take, take care of everything so that if I have to come back, I won't have to fight through the room again. Whoa! Like I said, it's easier to just kill everything and then come back the other way. Well, that was one dead end. Completely empty room. Neat. Uh, I don't really like Fistula too much with Epic Fetus. Become kind of a pain. Ah, oh, jeez. That wasn't very smart either. Get rid of that. Oh, there we go. On the one nice hand, Fistula does provide you with an adequate number of enemies to kill for uh, Charm of the Vampire to refill your health, which is kind of nice. Alright, I'll wait for you to stop moving. No, don't move again! There we go. Alright, Soul Heart. I'll definitely take that. Wow, an empty room before the boss. So, here we go. Isaac. Cain versus Isaac. Yes, Isaac is the boss of the cathedral. And with Epic Fetus, this boss battle is a complete and utter joke. Because you can just do this. Normally you have to be worrying about dodging shots. Because for every tier that you hit Isaac with, he shoots one tier back. But with Epic Fetus, each missile counts as one tier. So if you have regular tiers, it's a pretty difficult fight. And actually, Mom's Knife is not the most advised item for this fight because it does tend to actually hit him a lot. So it's not like every knife hit counts as one hit. It's like it's much more difficult with the knife. With any of the explosive shot things like Ipecac or... Yeah, that just happened. So that was pathetically easy. <laughs> And I unlocked Abel, one of the worst items in the entire game. I'm going to exit the cool kid's way. Boom! We have our new cutscene. Yep. Something sad just happened. Not not finishing the game. That was, that was pathetically easy there with Epic Fetus. 
Eh, well. So, that was, uh, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had a run where I've had Ipecac and Mom's Knife and Epic Fetus in the same run. That was ridiculous. But they all came at the right time. And it all worked out. So I'd say that was a, a good run. And now I have uh, the final challenge unlocked, I'm pretty sure, right? And I have part of the Polaroid has become complete. All right, good. So now the purest runs will begin. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's basically you start as Isaac, no D6, no item rooms. So I have to, yeah, I have to hope for angel rooms, devil rooms, good arcade stuff, good shops, all sorts of stuff. It's going to be painful. I hope it's as painful as that blue baby run I had. Fingers crossed you can't see that because I'm doing it on here and I don't have a camera on me because I do that for some reason. Okie dokie. So that's that. I will be back with more of this game with purist runs sometime. Probably next time. But for now... I want my personal lip moisture at Moistener. I screwed up my own joke. I want my personal lip moistener.